everybody, this is Chanel and welcome to another video of our beauty review. Today we're going to be doing a beauty review on lip stains and I have Kit Yen here with me, she's our resident model. We are both going to be trying out um, two different brands of lip stains. Um, this one is from Stila, I'm going to be trying out this one. And Kit Yen is going to be trying out the one from Body Shop. There are different stuff that you can put on your lips, like we have lipstick, we have lip gloss and we have lip stains. Lipsticks are... Just uh, when you apply lipstick, it's this um, coat of colour. As for lip gloss, it's shiny and it's supposed to give you this glossy look on your lip and it will event eventually either evaporate or oxidise and oxidise. <laughs> oxidise. For lip stain, um, what it does is it actually gives you this natural looking colour on your lip so that you will have um, this natural looking colour lip without having this um, make made up look. When it comes to lip stains, um, some of the problems that um, you might face with it is that either if um, it's drying, it dries up it dries up your lips so you have like chapped lips or if your lips are already dry and you apply the lip stain, um, the stain can actually go in between your the cracks on your lips and that can be really um, unpleasant. The first test will be water. So it will see whether it will stain around this area. The second test will be tissue. It will see whether it will stain when we bought. The third one will be white bread. We will see whether it will stain when we eat the white bread. <laughs> okay, and the fourth test would be um, the fan. Uh, the fan will be blowing at us and we will see if um, the color of the lip stain will change or if it dries up or anything like that. I will apply um, my lip stain now. This is the lip stain. It states here that it's um, lip, and lip and cheek stain which means that you can apply it on your lips as well as your cheeks. When you apply it on your cheeks, it can act as a blusher so that um, you can have this natural looking glow or you know you can have this natural looking colour on your cheeks so that you also won't look so made up. Okay so now I'm going to start. Um, I'll turn this thing to get the colour out. It's still wet, so I have to dry it a bit. First test, drink water. <laughs> Yours got colour? No. Mine also don't have. No have. Okay, so as you can see, um, there's no colour on our cups, both of our cups, which means that um, when you drink water, both our lip stains um, do don't not stain. Yeah, do not stain. Second test, tissue. We'll see whether it will stain on the tissue or not. Okay, so let's do it. I think yours comes out more than my yeah. one. Yeah. Mine just comes out in like small dots. I don't know if that my dry lip, but Okay, the third test now is makan time. <laughs> Anything? No. no. Nothing. Actually, a bit lah. It's like slightly coloured. Really? Mm, no, nothing eh? Mm, eh? A bit. <laughs> uh, so the conclusion is, the lip stain stains the bread just a bit. Mm. Kit Yen's one just a little bit more than mine. Okay, so um that means that um since this doesn't um this doesn't really stain the bread, the lip stain will stay on your lips even after your meal, and you wouldn't need to be worried about your lips having like no lipstick at the bottom or like some parts having lipstick and like or like you know your lipstick going out of your mouth and stuff like that. The last test would be having the fan blow at our faces to see if um, the, the, the lip stain actually dries our lips. So we're going to be sitting here with the fan blowing at us for the next 15 to 20 minutes and we'll see how it goes.
we're going to come to a conclusion. For the Stila Lip Stain, um, it is quite lasting and the colour is quite dark. So you don't have to worry about it being faint or anything like that. But one thing I have to say is that it's really dry. So um, you can feel this sticky yet dry feeling on your lips that um, some of you might not like. Um, other than that, I think that it's um, a good way to ensure that your lip has colour the entire day. Yeah. So Kian, what do you think about your lip stain? Mine. Yeah. I think mine came off a bit already, right? Yeah. Not yeah. so red anymore. Mm. Just now was a lot redder. Yeah. Can see. Compared it's to mine, hers has faded quite a bit more, which means that she probably has to apply this um maybe more like she has to do touch ups more regularly than me in in terms of the lip stain. Yeah. So we can see this one better, right? This yeah. is better. This is not as heavy as this one I think, mm. but so mm. maybe so maybe those of you who actually prefers a lighter look can you can try the body shop one. And as for those of you who want to have colour on your lips the entire day and to ensure that you know it doesn't fade off or anything like that, you should use um the Stila one. I'll recommend it. Yeah. Okay, so now that we've come to the end of our beauty review, I hope you guys have learned something um new about lip stains and since we've already done the five tests for you, you don't have to do it on your own. You, you already know how lip stains work and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again soon. Bye!